It's hot. See. Whew. Okay. I ran everything as a volunteer for the first about eight years, and we just got really, really busy. So now this is actually my full-time job. I'm David Horning. I am the executive director at Impact Now Dove Springs. We're the only food distribution that I know of in Dove Springs that's like a permanent location. I'm here six days a week. <laughs> On Tuesdays in the mornings, we pack all of our shelf-stable food. So we're packing cans, we're packing rice, we're packing beans. We're usually packing about 220 bags. On Fridays, we pick up about 7,000 pounds of food from the food bank. Saturday morning, we get here at 7.45. We pack all of our fresh and frozen foods. Uh, two in the back seat, guys. And then at 9 a.m., we open and we start distributing. Okay. And there's how many families? Four or three? Everybody's family. For a long time, I would say probably five or six years, we were serving an average of 50 families a week. Ten years later, serving about 220 families a week. The rising cost of things has, I think, brought more and more families to us. Es un granito, como decimos nosotros en Venezuela, un granito que pone, o sea, que esto nos está dando para para avanzar, ¿sí? Porque, o sea, el poco dinero que, que entra al hogar es, como le digo, no alcanza. Definitely hear lots of stories of families struggling to buy food. And including myself. During the summer, I'm spending three to $400 a week going and buying cans of food or things to supplement the stuff that we're not getting from the food bank. During the summer, it's a lot harder. Places are not donating as much, so that is like the, the money struggle to be able to buy the food that we're buying. Folks think that the holidays are the busiest time of year, and the reality is, is it's the summer. My name is Sari Vatsky, and I have the honor and privilege of being the president and CEO of the Central Texas Food Bank. We do see less donation during the summer. At the same time, most people go out of town, and so retailers adjust their inventory levels for that. Families face what we call as a triple threat, right? Not only do they not have access to free or reduced meals in school, but the cost of cooling home increases, the cost of daycare is a factor. We're not insulated from the costs that other people are, are experiencing as well. We're spending about $1.1 million a month to purchase food, which is just really not sustainable. Unfortunately, we are anticipating this to continue. Last year, we estimated about 178,000 people were food insecure, and this year we're anticipating about 208,000, and that's just in Travis County alone. I feel like things are going to continue to increase. I haven't seen it stop yet. But giving them food to help feed their families is kind of what keeps me going. I do, I know, I know who you are. The people that we serve are just normal people. They have kids, they have families, they have loved ones. They just want to eat and be healthy. And a lot of them also want to give back. I'm a great staff. Excuse me. I would probably say 70% of the volunteers that we have were previously in line. 
they realized that there was a need for support, so they offered to help. They might still be getting food from us, but they wanted to do more themselves. Uh, we love Dove Springs and we, uh, we love helping people. Good morning, Maria. Doing okay, how are you? Thank you.